your weekend? I hope it was good. We, um, we had a nice barbecue yesterday at my girlfriend's house. It was really nice. So at least we got to do something. We're not, we don't usually always get to do anything on these holidays if we're not camping. So, it was a nice treat. Let me get all our stuff on here. What are y'all doing? Hopefully all your activities are done for the day. I'm just trying to get us up. Uh, let me shift this up. Alright. What's going on? Hi Shirley. Hi Linda. Hi Sandy. Hi Kathy. How are you guys? Uh, we are going to make a daffodil tonight. Or we're going to attempt to make a daffodil tonight. Let's put it that way. So, what is going on? I thought maybe everyone's activities would be done by now. Hi, t hi Pat. Um, hi Dolores. Um, hi Doris from Texas, welcome. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Hi Donna. <laughs> hey Roxanne, can't wait to see the daffodil. Well, good. I hope, I hope it comes out. You know, this is my first one, so never know, girl. Never know. <laughs> so, what did y'all do this weekend? Yep, relaxing on the couch. Awesome, Kathy. Hi, Vicky. Um, we didn't do much, but you know what? That's okay. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Hi, Brenda. We're just chilling. So we're going to attempt to do a daffodil. Attempt. <laughs> no promises. Katie. Hey, girl. Hey, Janice. Hey, Kathy. You say that every time they always turn out, right? Well, you never know. You had a ro you had Hi, Roxanne. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Jean. Pittsburgh. Is that two Roxannes did I have? Oh, same one. Awesome. Dolores. Hey, girl. Woke up with a very sore throat. Oh, no, girl. You better fix that. Hi, Willie. So, well... The keto is gone. <laughs> hey, Jen. You might want to hear this, Jennifer. Hi, Judy. Keto is gone. Weight Watchers is in. <laughs> hey, Vicky. Two Vickies. Hi. How are you? Uh, yeah. I gave up on keto. Mm -mm. Can't do it. Can't do it. Hi, Sue. Um, hey, Teresa. I, uh, cannot do a diet. Hey, Carol. Yeah, Weight Watchers is what I need to do. Hi, Janet. Um, you know, when I was a teenager, I did Atkins, and I did very well. But I have found out over the week that when you get old, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> do what you need to do. Yeah, I know, Dolores, right? Hey, Lou. And Luann. Yes, Weight Watchers is better for me. I'm finding out. Hi, Becky. How are you, girl? I just can't. I thought, you know, when I was on Weight or Atkins, when I was a lot, lot younger, I lost a lot of weight on it. Worked very well. But apparently, when you get old, it don't work as good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Age and losing weight don't go together, but you know what? I have to do something. So, well, like I said, we're going to attempt a daffodil and um, see what happens. Hi, Marlena. Good to see you, too. I missed you guys. I missed my peeps. Hey, Cecilia. Yeah, I was just, uh, I was just exhausted yesterday. Um... I was going to go live yesterday, and I thought, no, I saw my Katie girl, Crazy Maisie Creations. She went live last night, and I, I just relaxed and just watched her. <laughs> and the 
looking for other things. Yeah, Jennifer, Keto and me just didn't get along. Yeah. Hi, Suzanne. Thanks, Katie girl. There's my Katie. She's awesome. Katie is the best. You know, I'm in a lot of groups, and Katie is one who really, really, um, what do I want to say? She uh, takes care of her group. She takes care of us. She promotes us. She, um, yes, right, Jennifer? Thanks, Tammy. You're storm storming there, Sandy? Well, stay safe, girl. Hey, Char. Hey, Wendy. Yes. Katie is a doll. She she promotes her, her uh, people. She stands behind us. Um, and she's worth every, every, every penny that I pay for her group. It's worth it. So, um, you know, she treats you like you're one of her, you're just like her. You're no, she's no better than we are. And that's what I like about her. So, all right, we're going to put this cam this, uh, camera down and we're going to get going. Thanks, Sandy. Thanks, Dolores see how we do with this daffodil tonight so right Vicki I double I ditto that statement I ditto happy Memorial Day to all our military past and present thank you Kathy so let's try a daffodil tonight Love you too, girl. You're the best, Katie. So, yes, Jennifer, if, you, if you're not a clubby, you should be a clubby because Katie takes care of her clubbies, let me tell you. Um, so, I wanted to tell you guys that I guess you, you know that I'm trying to go to Crafters Convention. We'll see. We'll see. We're still working on it. But I think I'm going to have my auction sale June 15th, which is a Sunday. So, yes. June 15th is a Sunday. So, I hope you guys can all be there. Alright, so what, what I did was, with these petals, I cut them and I wrote, I wrote, um, hey Gail! I wrote down what I how big I cut them. I cut the these petals are. Let me let me read my notes. 18 inches. So I what I did was. Hey Jackie, I got my nine inch cardboard, which I can't find it. And Katie, I need some. I need some. Uh, I need some nine inch. Um, what do you call them? Perfect tails. I need the small boards. How do I get them? I forgot. Can you tell everybody how to get the perfect board? I use cardboard, and I don't like it because it doesn't slip out that good. But what I did was I folded the mesh. Um, let's see. To get 18 it twice, and then I cut it with my 9-inch uh, board. would have been so much easier if I had a perfect tail to do it with. So, I do need the tiny tails, Katie. Tell, tell me how to do that. I forget. Where do we order them again? So, these are the 9-inch. And, oh, I saved one to show you guys how I did it. I saved one. Okay. Creative Soul Sisters. That's why I couldn't find it. I was looking, at, looking up Soul Sisters. So, I folded the 18-inch piece in half. Okay. Can you all see that? You know, I was watching my replay the other night on one of my other videos, and you couldn't even see anything. And nobody was even saying anything to me. You guys just need to speak up when you can't see, guys. <laughs> I thought, look at that. How, those, how are they seeing it? So, I take the 18-inch piece, fold it in half, and then... Remember how we did the petals for the other flower, the ribbon flower? This is the same thing. You just fold it in half, into corner to corner, and then fold this one. And you're not going to see these petals, 
these are just called the filler petals. Hey, Sally, how are you, girl? So this is really going to be underneath a big petal. So all this is is a filler petal, and I'll show you what I mean. So then I got the rubber bands. I found them. I found the clear rubber bands at the Dollar Tree. I was shocked. They actually had something I went for. <laughs> <coughs> they don't usually have them and I opened a pack and where did I do with them here it is I, I opened a pack what the heck did I do with it so well I don't need it for this one petal but I know I have an open pack so these little clear rubber bands they work really good to hold your petals and they're probably still out on my table and I don't even know it probably but anyway I got these clear rubber bands at Dollar Tree there's like 500 in the pack and I just used them to hold the petals I wish I could there it is I knew that I knew it was there and you don't even have to take them off because you won't see them. So, I got them. I got the clear rubber band and I just put it on my petal tail here. Just to hold it. And you don't even have to take it off, which is nice because... Then you don't have, really don't have to worry about it coming out. All right, one thing I want to tell you about the board. For the daffodil, you put your zip ties in every other set of holes on the first row. The, the set with the outside hole that's in front of it, you don't put a zip tie on that. Just every other set of holes on the first row. Hi, Betty. Yes, Jackie, you need to try this, girl. All right, so we're going to put these petals in every other set of holes. And like I said, you're not going to see them. And you'll see what I mean. But yeah, I was wishing I had the little tails today when I was cutting these things. So all I did was got the mesh and just rolled it around twice. And because this is nine inches and then I would burn the end and that gave me the 18 inches so I'll sh this this flower uses quite a bit of mesh so hey Darlene how are you so that's the only downfall about it but hopefully it'll come out pretty hi Sandy how are you doing girl I hope you all had a great Memorial Day weekend. Hey, Rennell. So, after you put these in, then I cut these down a little. Tell them, tiny tail, they're on the way. I can't wait to get them. Really, Jackie? Me too. I have to order some tiny tails. I already got the other size because I got them before the perfect tails came out so I knew this came out of here so I already got the other side but I do want the tiny tails I'm going to order some of those I looked for them today and I couldn't find them but I didn't put in the right website so that could that could be why I didn't find them so you know me I'm going to add a little bit of glue to this you don't have to but I always like to. Definitely don't have to. But it won't hurt to do it. Hi, Maggie! Awesome, Darlene. Tiny tails are just, um, they're measuring boards to measure, like ribbon tails, Kathy. They're called tiny tails because they're the smaller size someone used those rubber bands on a peony petal wreath and they disintegrated in the heat. Really, Betty? 
Oh, don't tell me that. Um, well, these are going to be underneath my zip ties, so hopefully... How did you figure that one out? Missed the beginning. Uh, Sherry, which, what do you mean? On this petal? Okay, got it. Hi, Pamela. Um, what I did was I cut it in nine inches. The, the mesh is cut in nine inches. You fold it in half, and then you take the corner and bring it to the other corner, and then you take both the petals and fold them in like I did the petal for the other flower last night, or the other night. What did I do the other night? I even forgot. Oh, the ribbon flower. And you don't have to worry about these because they are filler petals. Really? Okay, you convinced me. I'm taking the darn rubber bands off. <laughs> That's it. Rubber bands are coming off. <laughs> no rubber bands are staying on. They're coming off. That's it. <laughs> All right, Delta. I see that also. Betty Clark. Hi, Lori. That's it. They're coming off. I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> what types of petals are these? This is the first time. First live is acting up on my end. It's it's act. This live is acting up. Oh no, Ruth. Um. I'll show you how I fold the petals because I'm taking the rubber bands off. You convinced me. That's it. I'm not taking chances. <laughs> I'm okay. How are you, Lori? So, if you guys don't know, I, I have our own little private group. It's not, you don't cost, it doesn't cost anything. It's just on my page. Um... So I'm going to show you how I fold the petals because these little buggers are coming off. That's it. I'm not taking any chances with these rubber bands. <laughs> off they come. Alright, so. I cut them nine inches. That's true, Shirley. I cut the board 18 inches. I mean the petal, fold it in in half, and then I take this corner of the folded side, fold it down to the, and meet the other corner, diagonal. Hi, Brenda! Doing great, staying on. Awesome, Lori, that's always fun. Yes, I cut them 18 inches. Then I take this side, meet that corner, and this side, and meet this corner and just scrunch and this is the filler petal they call it and when you fill your board you fill it with every other zip tie on the first row um, these holes are the ones you leave out with the hole that's in front of it we're making a daffodil Lori we're making a daffodil and upcoming this week, we're going to make a red and yellow rose by someone's request. And I guess we're going to make another sunflower. And what else did I have to make this week? I can't remember. I had a whole, I should have listed it already. So. If you have joined my my free private group, we're looking for a name for it. What do you guys? And I'm leaning towards some of the some of my guys did put a name in, and I really like the Connie's crew or Connie's creative crew. Hey, Francis. So, what do you guys think of that? Awesome, Ruth. What do you think? If you're in my group, what do you guys think of that name? Thanks, Jackie. Hey, candy girl. Connie's crazies. <laughs> That's a good one, Marlena. <laughs> you love either one, Gail? I 
like Connie's Crazies. That's a good one, too. I never even thought of that. <laughs> the sunflowers, I've done it with the fabric mesh and regular mesh. Mesh. Yeah. So I'm just adding glue. Like I said, you don't have to, but... I'm a glue person. I like playing with my glue gun. <laughs> the glue guns that half the time don't work. <laughs> Does sound like us, doesn't it? So you cut eight petal or eight petals, 18 inches, fold them in half, and meet the two meet the corner, diagonal corner, and then you fold the two sides in and meet it with it. Connie's crazy crafters. That's a good one. Oh yeah, I like that one, Rennell. This is just regular old yellow deco mesh, Jackie. You are just extra careful. That's good. Oh, Gail, listen, I would feel terrible if somebody, if I sold this to someone and they told me that the petal fell apart or disintegrated or anything like that. That would make me feel terrible. So... I'm always extra, extra. Connie's chocolate. <laughs> Holly. <laughs> you know, me and my chocolate. That would work, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Connie's chocolate. How about Connie's creative chocolates? Or no, hot Connie's chocolate creators. That would be good. <laughs> but I don't know. I'd have to think of chocolate every minute. And that wouldn't be good. <laughs> that would not be good. <laughs> so. Here I thought I was doing good with these things. Now. I don't know. I'm taking the buggers off. Because no way. Connie's Blessings. That's nice. I like that. I like that too, Candy. You guys are making this hard hard to choose. Hi, Faye. I'm having a hard time choosing now. There's too many good names coming out. So one of these days, I'm going to try to go live in my group and see what happens. I see there's a live button on the top of my page. That should be interesting. Let me tell you. <laughs> you know me. That should be really interested. I will do that, Marlena. We're making a daffodil, Diane. Put the name, put the name in the box and draw one. Good idea, Betty. Connie's Creative Blessings. That's awesome, Pamela. Post all your ideas to my site so we can, so I can find them easier. And um, I like that too, Dawn. Uh, so that I can find them easier, and I'll pick them, put write them all down, and then. We will, uh, I'll put them in a box and we'll pick. That's a good idea. All right, so the next row, let me see where this came from. Connie's Cool Crafters. Love it. Thanks for sharing, Diane. Please say a prayer from my hometown, Deb. Uh, Wendy, I watch all of this on the news. It's making me crazy. I like that crazy, Connie's crazy crafter, crafters. I like that. One, two, three, four. Let me see. Five, six, seven, eight. All right. So now the second row. Hi, Helen. The first row is 18 inches, Diane. The first row was 18 inches. And then the second row is 36 inches so what you do is fold the petal in not an equal 
folds. Connie's buds. Yes, I, I'm worried about Oklahoma. They're really going through some bad weather. So let's all keep them in our prayers. And we're going to put these on the second row right over the first row. So you can see how you're not going to see this first row. I know I didn't take this rubber band out, but I just did. So, yes, message me all your name ideas so I can put them in a hat and we can draw one. I like that creative crew. That's the one I'm really liking. Yes, you guys are really doing some great ideas. So this one looks like a, almost looks like a, um, a fish fin, I thought when I saw it. I'll try to get these out of the way for now until it's time for them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to move these up some more because that one's sticking out too far. I'm going to have to change this zip tie, and I'm going to have to move it up more. It's flopping. <laughs> yes, it is. Doesn't it look like a fish fin? So I think we're going to have to do the 4 inches, or 5 inches even, yeah, let me see, if we do 5 inches, yeah, I think 5 inches, and I'll tell you what I'm talking about here in a minute. Looks like a stingray, doesn't it? So I need another zip tie, because I just cut that one out. This is going to be all trial and error, let me tell you, because you know. This is the first one. So, I need another zip tie. So I just cut that one. Alright. And I'll show you how we do these petals, because I didn't fold any of this next row, except one just to see how it's going to go. So you just put it in there. Take this out. Pull. Alright. So, this petal is meant to just go over the first row. Hi, Barbara from Kentucky. Is this, how are you? So then you're going to cut this tail off, of course. Don't need a tail that long. So then you're going to get these two little corners of your petal and fold them in up to this hole right here and just glue it a little bit. Just put a little dab of glue there to hold the petal down. We're making a daffodil, Barbara. CTs. <laughs> yes, stingray petal. That's what it looks like. Alright, so then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Take that little corner and, and turn it in and glue it. Connie, are you mad at me? Why am I mad at you, Willie? I'd never be mad at you, girl. Right, Linda? Did I miss your comment, Willie? I'd never get mad at you, girl. Why would you say that? I don't get mad. You have to do something pretty bad to make me get mad. I'm always conscious of everyone's feelings. Believe me, I know. Where Did I miss your 
Why are you saying that, Willie? Did I miss your comment somewhere? I don't see. Did you comment before and I missed it? I don't see you commenting anywhere. Alright, I don't see it. So what do you mean, Willie? What do you mean, girl? see it I went back all the way I per I just I just went all the way back and didn't see one thing that Facebook must have must have filtered your comment on me I don't see one other comment from you girl I went all the way back Nothing, nothing. There's nothing there. All right. You repeat what you said, Willie, because there was Facebook filtered you, filtered you right out. Face poops. <laughs> yes. I didn't see one comment from you, girl. You, you tell me what you said. Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Listen, if I ever not answer you, you know I missed it. So make sure you say it again. Yeah, Facebook is doing some rotten things to my people lately. Miss how I'm curious to see how this turns out. Ah, me too, Linda see it till she asked it. I know I didn't see anything from my Willie. Tell Connie it's okay. I just thought something was wrong. No, Willie, I saw that comment. I just seen you say that. I am definitely not mad at you, girl. Just repeat. If I missed what you're saying, always repeat cuz you know what Facebook does to us. They did I did I did you guys see what I wrote in my um page? that under my posts there's a new thing that Facebook is putting in there it says that they pick the most relevant comments and the other ones they filter out can you believe that I want to decide what's relevant and what isn't I don't want them deciding awesome Barbara all right so I want to be the ones, but I'm seeing you now, Willie. So it's I'm seeing you now. So just keep on commenting. Facebook is just jealous because we have such a good time in here. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that. So I had to tell everybody if I don't answer, then um, that's the reason. Hi, Connie. I missed the beginning to see how you set up the board and ties. I will check it after. Hi, Risa. Yes, check the replay, girl. Hey, Rhonda. Yeah, did you see that, Darlene? All right. Um, Faye, the first row is 18 inches. The first row of petals were cut 18 inches. And all the folds are pretty much the same until we get to the next row. So these pieces are 36 inches. Let me make sure I wrote everything down so I could tell you guys. These pieces, yep, 36 inches for the second row. So you fold it in equal, you know, just fold it equal 9 inch pieces because 4 times 9 is 36. And I put a paper clip on them. Hi, Carrie. Um. So then I, for this one, I want it kind of, I know, right, Dolores? I want it to stay pretty pointy here. So you put a paper cl or a clothespin there, and you turn it around, or you, could, you don't even have to turn it around, and then just scrunch. You fold it equally, nine inches, and then just scrunch till you get this 
petal that looks like a, a fin. <laughs> I think it looks like a fin. I think they're clothespins, not <laughs> candy. <laughs> I know they're clothespins, but I always say paper clips because I'm nuts. And then just put them in here, the next row. So you got this big old tail sticking out. And you're just pretty much just covering up that first petal. And then, what happened, Willie? Tell us what they do. Did you have your comment thing off or something, girl? So just... We're just going to fold this little piece in again and meet up with this one. Did you, Carol? Did you like it? I hope you liked it, girl. I don't even know what you got. <laughs> I had the list in the house. So then you fold these little sides in onto the board. Ah, you had your comments off, girl. You know I'd never get mad at you, Willie. All right, so just give this a little bit of glue. Hi, Debbie. Awesome, Carol. Okay. Hey, Sandra. So, yeah, you guys with names for our group, put it, message me so we can put them all in a hat and pick one. All right, so I just got that little bit of glue there. Try to make them even. You cut this big old tail off. Still didn't cut enough of that one, but it's okay. The next petal will cover it up. Give it a little glue. Pamela, just go to my uh, Reads by Connie M and uh, send me a me There should be a place that says message. Hope not. Hanging out with you guys means more to me than, you know, almost 70 and don't get out much. Aw, Willie, we love having you, girl. I'd never get mad at you. Alright. So then we're going to fold this little piece in here. And give this a little glue just to have it stay nice on the board. Did I glue this tail? I don't know if I put glue on that one yet. I don't think I did. Awesome, Linda. Really, I don't get out either unless to doctor appointment. My son wanted to go to Lowe's for three days now, hoping for tomorrow. I, this is much cuter than clown I'm doing. <laughs> Kathy. Yes, glued the tail. Yes. Oh, I did glue it? Okay, thanks. I couldn't remember, you know. My old brain don't remember very much. All right. So here we go. This is what the piece looks like. It's cut 36 inches. Hold this corner up. This takes a lot of mesh, Darlene. I think it took... Well, see, I had one open. I used a full roll. And... Um, I had to open another roll. I think it would use at least two full rolls of mesh. It does use quite a bit of mesh. Alright, so we're going to just turn it and scrunch it and get this, this old big old petal. 
and put it in the next one. I haven't made too many clowns. Ten inch, ten inch, Debbie. This is the ten inch, and this is the large, unique in the creek flower board, Gina. Big old tail. Ugh. Hard to cut this big thick stuff. Take this off now and fold this little thing in onto the board. I'm going to pull this in just a little bit more. Uh, you could do it on the small board, Gina. It's pretty much the same. It's just smaller in diameter. So, add some glue over here. This is a challenging flower, I'll tell you guys. This is not an easy flower to make. So if you're just starting out, don't start with the daffodil. <laughs> it's not an easy one to make. Because I don't know, would it be easier to cut the end off before you put it in the zip tie? Pamela, I wouldn't because knowing me, my whole petal would fall apart. <laughs> Four inch thickness or just the pattern. Barbara, I think it's um, to help the petals stick up because that's what you want them to do. Yeah, this one's, this is a challenging flower, that's for sure. I would not recommend it for someone that's just starting out. one of the harder ones. You're welcome, Pamela. Yeah, this is a little bit challenging. Oop. Got glue strings. Yes, Debbie. It's just plain old deco mesh. Hi, Tina. How you doing, girl? I'm not sh can't remember if I glued that tail down or not. I can't even remember if I glued these tails down. Or tails. I call them tails, but... Just, um, just plain old yellow. I got it at, uh... When my girlfriend went to Georgia, she picked it up for me. At, she went to Sims Pottery, I think it's called. And that's where she got it. Um, I don't know if I still have the paper for it. No, I don't think I have it. So I had seen how you folded the first row. Yeah, I can't take them apart, Diane, but I did show in the beginning, so after the live is over, the um, replay will be there, and you can watch it there. I'm going to bug you, but how long are you cutting the mesh? Debbie, you're not bugging me, girl. You should know better than that. Um, the first row was 18 inches, and this row was 36 inches. And you just fold them in nine equal pieces. I'm, I'll sh I'm showing you um, what it looks like before I put the pedal on. You're welcome, Diane. I've got glue strings all over. Aw, oh, you're sweet, Debbie. Listen, I have the best followers of anybody. I think you guys are all great.
So I'm just turning these little little uh, corner things in on these petals and gluing them to the board. So this is what they look like when you fold them. This is 36 inches folded evenly in a 9 inch square. So you just grab the corner, I like to use the finished corner, and hold it. And just, that's it, just throw the clothespins on the floor. And then just scrunch the tail you make this this thin looking petal <laughs> and then just stick it in the board so someone was asking how I loaded the board the first row is every other zip every other pair of zip ties put them on the on the pair that's right in front of the second row Welcome, Pamela. I'm glad to do it for you. Finally sit down and wash dishes. <laughs> From washing the dishes? Oh, I don't like that job. Hey, Rose. How are you? I don't know if you can hear me, but hopefully. I don't know. Does, does Facebook? Ugh, look at me. Just dumping the golf dumping the glue gun. Does Facebook have captioning for the deaf? Does anyone know that? I'm just curious. Oh, you're welcome, Christina. You're doing good, girl. You have some really nice stuff. I'm enjoying seeing all your different creations. Of course it is, Diane. <laughs> Don't you know that's how I do things? I always do it first on my live, right? Dumb me. <laughs> Stupid me. I do the first one on my live. I should tell you I haven't washed dishes in seven years. Candy. You know what? I don't know if I should tell you, but I haven't either. Because I got a dishwasher, girl. And I use it. <laughs> when you set your Facebook up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wondered if they have closed captions for the deaf. They really should. I would hope they did, but I don't know. Yeah, this is my first daffodil. I do stupid things and do them on a live. <laughs> me that's how I roll listen I've been known to rip stuff out you guys I think I don't know if you were with me when I made the cross for for my mother's um, grave I ripped that thing I ripped that thing out yes thank you Dolores thanks Debbie maybe Google to see what you mean Gina it's Google to see how to do it I'm hoping it comes out. We'll see. Listen, I just ripped the sucker out. It's okay. It's all right. We'll just rip it out. I had to Google to see what... Oh, to add captions. Got you, Gina. Hopefully Rose knows how to do all that stuff. Oh, my name for the group let's roll with Connie <laughs> well that sounds good I want something short and sweet like you know Katie's is Katie's clubbies and um, ours what do you think 
I was really liking that crew. What was it? Connie's crew? Connie's creative crew? Stuff like that. Think of something short and sweet. Because you know, my old brain won't even remember it if we don't. Yeah. I wondered. I hope they do. Alright. And here's another piece. Cut in 36 inches. Just, um... What's in that? Little brown thing. I like Connie's Crazy Crew. That one's growing on me. Connie's Petals. <laughs> Connie's cackle. Yeah. So you, uh, like I said, fold it evenly. Nine inch square. Just grab the corner with a clothespin. How many times is that fold? Four times, Linda. It's four times nine is 36. So all I did was get my nine inch piece of cardboard and what, uh, and rolled the mesh around it for until I had four pieces and then I cut I just read awesome Debbie it's doing it again I'm talking you ain't hearing what'd you say Willie I just saw that did you say something before that try going out and coming all the way back in Willie Which corner do I want? I want this corner. Connie's Cripsters. <laughs> you are already typing. Ah. Is Facebook acting mean tonight again? I can't keep up with all of their shenanigans. You know, I was telling my husband, I thought, instead of worrying about what this person or that person is saying, I wish they would just worry about keeping their website working right. That's what they need to concentrate on, instead of worrying about people's comments. Rolling with Connie. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Paper plates. My son does all the cooking and dishes. Ah, that sounds good to me, Candy. I just throw everything in the dishwasher. That's all. Yeah, I wish they would just worry about keeping the website working right instead of worrying about what people are saying. pushers. <laughs> you guys are coming out with too good a con of, of names. I don't know how to pick. That's why I said. Hi, Maggie. How are you, girl? Oh, uh, sorry, Christina. Listen, that's usually my problem. Don't you know I have uh, Comcast coming tomorrow, and when they get here, there's not going to be a darn thing wrong. You just watch and see. Everything's going to be working just fine when they get here, just like usual. So how the heck are they going to fix something that's not broken? I don't know. should knock on wood. I'm knocking on wood. Oh, you getting the storms too, Maggie? I told my husband I'm a little concerned because we're having a dry spell. And when that happens in Florida, that usually means hurricanes when it's dry. Which I don't... That's just my theory. There's no... There's no... Uh, what do you call it? documentation that supports that but it just seems like 
whenever it's dry and we don't get a lot of rain, it just seems like that happening, but I'm praying it, do, it isn't a fact. I can see you now, Willie, loud and clear, girl. Hey, Janet, you're good. Hi, Jean. Tell you going to do one and let them sit through one to see what's going on. Oh, but you know, Teresa, if I do that, it's all going to work just fine. Oh, no, Maggie. Do you have a basement? Maggie, do you have a basement? I wish we could have a basement, but we can't, so... This one's a little bit long. So, 16 in all. Eight on the outside, Debbie. Eight on the next row. I didn't glue this pedal. It's just flopping around here. I didn't glue this one. Ouch! What? Why do people have to be so mean? People make me mad, so mad. They don't have anything nice to say. Get off the page. I'm a very outspoken person, and I'd be the one to say something if someone else is being mean. That's right, Pamela. People, you know, life is short. Can't, don't need to be mean. Don't need to be mean. Is somebody being mean? I didn't see anybody being mean. Rose, there are several I go. No, we live in a ranch style. Oh, Maggie. I know that scares me because we don't have a basement either. So I did not ask for Siri. Sorry, go away. So why'd this pedal go in like this? It needs to be a little bit bigger. Oh, someone said someone else was on the live last night, I think. Oh, really? Okay, I wonder where I would go to find them. There should be a closed caption option. Yeah, hopefully Rose knows how to get to all that stuff. So the object is these outside petals are supposed to make these kind of stick up. This second row. Use the closed caption on Netflix. So. My husband has to have closed caption all the time too. Good Lord, Katie scared me. She said she could see me. I thought my computer... <laughs> Willie! <laughs> That's funny, girl. <laughs> I have friends ask me. I told them I could see when they come on. Is the first year that we had tornado warnings. Usually they are closer to West Virginia since we are in the middle of the mountains. We tend to be protected, but not this year. Strange weather. Yeah, there has been an awful lot of strange weather. I'm trying to help. You're fine, Carol. Looking very good, kind of bless you. Thanks, Patricia. Alright, so here's the 36 inch square again. Just pick. just clip the corner and turn it around. You don't need this one anymore. Just scrunch up the pedal. And then just put it in the next one.
Good night, Kathy. Let me get rid of some of these clothes pins. Not really, Carol. It's pretty rough. It's not really soft at all. It's it's just the regular old deckle mesh, you know, the rough stuff. It's not too soft. That's why I like the fabric mesh, because it's so soft. This mesh is screwing up my apron. Keeps grabbing my letters. I gotta try to empty this. Illinois was freezing last week, then rain, then heat, then cold, then heat, now storms and tornado. Ugh, Gina. I know I'm watching the news. It's rough out there. I don't watch. The only thing I'm really concerned about on the news is the wet, the weather. That's all I really watch. So yeah. I had a friend ask, I said, we, I could see when you come on, because when we're friends, it just says so-and-so is watching. So they said, you can't hear what we're saying, can you? <laughs> I said, no, why are you talking about me? <laughs> I turn on closed captioning under the video, but it's not working. Is there a, a button that says closed captioning? captioning? Thanks, Carol. Hi, Karen. I didn't know there was a button that even said that. works for like when you're watching Netflix or something. Dreaming about petals on Florida. You're not kidding, Carol. <laughs> yeah. I'm always dreaming of petals, girl. I'm trying to always figure something different to do. Someone asked me if I do a, a Daffodil. I'm, I don't remember who it was, but I don't. I'm hoping she's here. I'm not sure uh, who. It, I don't remember who it was because you know my old brain don't remember much. So we go to this. Hi, Linda. I know I was watching Lori too for a while. She always she was making that beautiful butterfly. I, the, what I, my concern is, I want to make that butterfly, but you would need a really big box to ship it. Tina, I think it's at least two rolls. It takes a lot of mesh. Awesome, Linda. It'll be on the replay. We still have a little ways to go. Yeah, I really want to make one of those butterflies, but can anyone tell me where you heat seal the edges, sealer? Does it also cut the deco mesh, or do you cut it first? It cuts the mesh, Jean. It also cuts the mesh. Um, you 
you just measure out the piece that you need and just put the deco roll under there measure out the piece you need and just close the thing and it should cut it and seal it I don't have one but I watched Lori do it in a demo once so as you know this is the unique in the creek flower board Thanks, Tina. And, um, if you have not F O L L O W E D my page, please do so. Thanks, Rose. You're welcome. I'm on vacation to Myrtle Beach in October. Oh, I love Myrtle Beach. Wait, I will have to watch the replay. Sealer is a wonderful. I don't have one, Sandra, but I, you know what? I had one. Hi, Debbie. I had one in my cart. Hi, Tammy. And because I don't have any room on my da my table, I ch I didn't order it because I would want to keep it out all the time. And I just don't have room on my table for anything else. So I didn't get it. That's okay, Janet. No worries, girl. I was watching too for a while. I plan to go. Awesome. Rose, where are you going in Florida? You going to Disney World? That's where everybody always goes when they come to Florida. I think I have it figured out. Good going, Candy. need to put an addition on your shed. You got that right, Gail. <laughs> I would love an addition on my shed. And Pam, right hand corner, hold down on three dots. A list comes up to the very last one says something wrong with this video. Type there. Message my live won't play. Those captioning. Right, Ellen. I send Facebook problems all the time. Then I can see how big to cut pieces and how much you use. Linda, I didn't show how I cut the pieces, but what I did was um, on the first row, I used my nine inch cardboard. Oh, my, fo my phone is, battery is going dead. I forgot to plug it in. Hold on, guys. Forgot to plug my phone in. Hopefully I won't knock you all off. Remind me what I was telling you, Linda, if I forget. Hopefully, it'll start charging. Every time I plug it in after the live starts, it acts, it acts crazy. So, all right, I'm not supposed to glue the pedal to the table. Um, Linda. I, cut, I took my 9 inch piece of my 9 inch cardboard, which I want to get some perfect tails, and I just wrapped it around like that, the mesh, and then just cut it. And that's 18 inches. That's the first row, this row. The second row, I just went around twice, and then again, and that would make 36 inches, and cut it. And that's this row. All right, Brenda, take care, girl. This person who starts video has to set up for caption. I will to try that. Yes, Gina. I never knew you could do that, but I was hoping there's a way for people like Rose to, to be able to hear. So this is this row, 36 inches. I just folded in equal pieces. 
and decide what corner. I like the folded end to be the corner, so take these all out. And then just scrunch. And you come up with a tail that looks like a fin. I'll leave that on until I get it in. And put it in the next row. All I need to do is dump all those rubber bands on the floor. I never did either. I never noticed a setting, but I was certainly hoping there was one for people that can't hear very well. And then I just tuck it in a little bit right here and glue it to the board. Just to let it make sure it stays and behaves. Call you. Anyone else is, is if you go and and turn on those new settings. That is no. Oh, okay. Yes, Linda, nine inches. So the first row, I wrapped it around the nine inch cardboard once, and that gave me 18 inches. And then the second row, I wrapped it around twice or three times until I got 36 inches. You know, 36 um, would be four nine inch pieces. If you were going to cut it without wrapping it like I did, you could cut four nine inch pieces if you want, but it's a lot easier to do it th this way. i never seen glue with so many glue spiders before. this off. So now we're on to the third row. I'm wondering if Rose is noticing. What are you doing? Um, if she is able to notice that we're, we're helping her with closed captioning. Oh, there she is. Awesome. Okay. Barbara, the mesh is 10 inches. And like I, um, I said, the uh, nine inch board, I just wrapped it around once to get 18 and then wrapped it around a couple times to get 36. Hi, Nancy. I was watching her too for a while. All right, why is this not sticking very well? It's being bad. Hi, Jane. Remember the person whose live you were on has to change the settings on their end too. What do I have to do, Candy? Do I have to do something? All right, let's cut this old tail off. before the live starts. 
awesome, Barb. So, Barbara, I got a message from that girl that's selling that mesh. Hi, Lisa. And she told me she doesn't ship. <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> So, that took care of that. Alright, so now we're on the, the next row, which is, thanks Jane, 27 inches. You go to your settings then to video and it's all right there. Okay, Candy. Well, I can't do that right now, so. So this row is cut 27 inches. And I left the zip ties open on this row so it's easier to add these up uh, these pieces so all I did on this row was wrap it around three times to get three nine inch pieces because that would make 27 so on this row we're going to do ruffles just hold the mesh like this. Hold your folded edges. This is rolled in three times. And then just scrunch. So we're going to kind of do ruffles on this row. And you're not going to put it in completely even. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Vicki. Aw, thanks for being here, Vicki. Love having you. So we're not going to add the, we're not going to go in in the middle like you would normally for a ruffle. We're just going to put it in like this. Have part of it facing the outside of the board. Hi, Ellen. And Grab the other side of the zip tie, and where is it? Zip ties like to go away from you if they can. There it is. And just zip tie it in. And just flop it up like this. So it'll stay up once you get, hopefully, it will stay up once you get the other pieces in. <laughs> so these are 27 inches. Awesome, Renell, thank you. Just kind of scrunch it up on the end here. And put it in the next tie. I'll measure it for you in a second, Suzanne. Oh, I forgot what you were making. A daffodil, Lisa. Well, put it this way. I'm attempting to make a daffodil. <laughs> so, kind of make them stand up a little. Linda, it takes probably two full rolls. I had part of another one. I had one open. I used uh, that and all of another roll. And then um, part of another roll. Alright, so that... 
scrunch in the bottom. Let's see how much I'm doing. Probably one, two, about four inches. Leave about four inches. Just put it in here. I don't know, Nancy. It probably could. If you get the same measurements, see, I don't like to cut 21 inch mesh. I think it's because my arms are too short. <laughs> You're welcome, Suzanne. Yeah, I don't like cutting 21 inch mesh. We can't say the S word. You have to say something like we sent you up the river or some other form. <laughs> All right, Peggy. Uh, I sent you up the rig river packing, packing up the river. <laughs> yes, I can say it now. We, I can say share. Um, at least I think so, but they don't like us to type it all the time because Facebook thinks it's spam, I guess. I guess that's what they were thinking. So as you can see, these are just folded pieces, 9 inch pieces, 27 inches, Susan, it's folded, you know, with a 9 inch square, LG, I love you too, but because I'm deaf in my right ear, couldn't find it, Barbara, and then just scrunch up this side. About one, two, three, about four inches, not five. Did I say five? I think the first time. I think it's about four inches. I can't believe how fast time goes. Right, I can say, please follow my page and share my page and if you haven't if you do not get the notifications 27 Susan for the middle row yep I'll spam this Facebook and we're wanting to use it <laughs> thanks Kay 27 in the middle, 36 for the second row, and 18 for the first row. As you all know, this is always available. It's 45 plus shipping. Yes, you can say blessed. Always welcome to hear blessed. Oh, that's just stupid. Then they should take away the share button on the bottom. Hi, Linda. I know, right? What are we going to do with this Facebook anyways? I'll tell you. I'm very grateful to Facebook. What will we do? with? We can't live with it. We can't live without it. <laughs> what message was that, Ellen? Did I miss a message? Well, spam this Facebook. Your CC isn't working and we're wanting to use it. <laughs> I know, right, girl? Alright. Just go... F so we just got to get these to fluff up. Some of these clothes pins. Yes, you can say blessed. So you know what I did today, guys? I broke down and I bought the clothes pins that Lori uses. Oh, I'm I'm behind them comments. Thanks, Janet. People are typing the words. Yes. Right, Ellen. I'll have to watch this. It'll be there, Linda. It'll be there, girl. 
Alright. Those clothes pins are nice. I know. They should be for what the cost is of them. Have you guys seen how much they are? They're like $23 for 20 of them. But I like them because they're pointed at the ends and I think they would grab better. So I broke down and ordered them. You know me, I have to have all the gadgets. <laughs> all the good gadgets. I have a few bad ones too. <laughs> I, I like the ones she has because they're pointed and they grab better. I would think they would grab better. Yeah. The more gadgets, the better, right? Anytime I see something new, you know. <laughs> Yeah, they're pointy at the end, so when you want to grab something, it's easier to do when you have a pointed end. Thanks, Ellen. Hi, Nellie. I'm okay. How are you doing, girl? Thanks, Madeline. Thank you, Barbara. Are they silver? Yes, Kay. You're talking about the clothespins. Yes. Was it you? I had gorilla. No, I didn't have a Gorilla Glue Gun, but I've seen them. I'm trying to get a decent glue gun. Awesome, Nellie. So far, I'm batting zero in that, in that department. <laughs> Seems like everyone I buy has some kind of problem. Hi, Kay. Thank you. So yeah, I'm going to have an auction on probably Sunday, June 16th. Trying to get to crafters convention, so hopefully it'll be a success. I'm hoping. Hi, Iris. Thank you. I don't know who it was. That's annoying. I know. Where do you purchase silver clothes pins? Amazon, K. You know me. I'm the Amazon queen. <laughs> there, right there, please. Run. Oh, thanks, Barbara. You're just too sweet, girl. All right. So we're almost coming to the end of the month. Next month, we're going to have to do a different way of our giveaways. I don't know. We'll have to. I'm gonna try to figure out a kind of a different way of doing it. So you just keep fluffing it up and try not to knock everything off your table. What like I'm good at. Awesome, Alice. Welcome. You're from Collinsville, Illinois. Are you going to the Crafters Convention, Alice? I wish I lived near where some of these conventions are. Tan, you must have been in the sun. Girl, it's called Italian Skin, Dolores. <laughs> I hate the sun. This is my natural olive skin <laughs> you're in Tennessee welcome Diane yeah it's just called my natural Italian skin I was outside quite a bit yesterday though at my girlfriend's house but, she, but I was sitting under the awning But I could have gotten sun. Her her son was down from uh, where do you say uh, Louis like Kentucky? He was from, and he said it was hotter there than here. What is the live stream? They said they were going to do 
like that at some conventions. I know, Madeline. <laughs> uh, the live stream, Janet, I know, right, Gail? Is um, where you could watch the convention live from home. You can watch what's going on. Thanks, Bertha. That's what the live stream is. I actually got one of those. And if I don't get to go, at least I'll get to watch it because I do have the live stream ticket. But I really want to go and meet everyone in person. You know, it's not the same. Thanks, Jean. Ooh. All right, so now is the tricky part. This is the part, what do they call that orange thing in the middle that these things have? I can't remember, what do they call? There's a really weird name for them. But you have to buy, yes, you do have to buy the live stream ticket. So, we're going to try to figure this out together. Stamina, that's it. St yep, that's it. I never knew that was called that. You know what? Yeah, the orange thing in the middle. <laughs> but it's fallen. <laughs> yeah, it is. Flower middle. <laughs> that's cheating, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I said, girl. I called it flower middle. All right, so what we're going to do, and hopefully this will work like this. I'm just going to take the orange tubing and make a bunch of long curls like this. And I don't know if this is going to work because I've never, like I said, my first try... They do hickle, hickey in the center. <laughs> I wonder about that because daffodils here have orange centers. Right, Kay? They actually have a name for that. Would you believe it? Alright. So I'm just going to go around a few times. And then I should have preloaded these zip ties, but I didn't. So, let's cut this off. I have plenty of orange, so if I screw it up, it's all right. We're going to cut this off, and we got to find the middle. That middle row that we didn't do, use, which is right there. So, let me put some zip ties in there. Get my cardboard. <laughs> Can you separate the layers as part you just finished? Layers on the part you just finished? Yeah, I can. Some do, some don't. Depends on daddy type. My mom had tons of types. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are cracking me up. All right, let me find the middle here. You see those middle, the middle four rows, the four um, holes that we didn't use. I'm going to put a zip tie in there. And the next one I'm going to definitely preload these zip ties. Because I screwed up by not doing that first. No, Debbie! <laughs> I never made this before, girl! <laughs> So, you know, I do crazy things and do the first one on a live. <laughs> and, yeah, it would be a lot easier to preload this. My mom just reached out in heaven and shouted, Ellen. She did. <laughs> Some do some don't know that. <laughs> she just gave it to you, huh? She yelled at you, girl. Alright, so we're going to put this this in and then we're going to see how it goes 
Man, daffodil, not daddy. <laughs> Couple clothespins to hold the orange. Yeah, I could do that if I was if I was smart, Candy. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. Does that look? I guess it looks okay. But I'm definitely going to put these other zip ties in first. So we'll flush, we'll, we'll do all that in a minute. We'll do all that in a minute. We'll do some fluffing and whatever we need to be doing. Let me go in from here. All I'm doing right now is adding the zip ties. Right, Diane? We need those butterflies, you know. Where's Joe? He's, he's the one telling us about these butterflies. So I'm going to preload those. Uh, zip ties so they're easier to get to. Hi, Georgia. Georgie. Not Georgia. You can put in the last row one orange, one yellow, one orange, one yellow. To have orange mesh in the middle. You could. You could do that, Ellen. <clears throat> Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Bertha. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> is Gail leaving? Did I miss that? Heading to the barn. Nighty night. Good night, Gail. Have a good night, girl. Tony, I was listening. I'm watching you. How big is the mesh? Twenty. It's ten inch, Peggy. 10 inches um, but they're all cut the first row is cut 18 inches the second row is cut 36 inches and the last row is cut 27 inches I don't watch that bachelorette I've never I've only watched it once a long time ago of course my husband would never watch The Bachelorette, that's for sure. I need to get my own TV sometimes. <laughs> I need one more zip tie. I bet it'd be pretty good, though. All right. First row is 18, second is 36, third is 27. You got it, Gina. Thank you. All right, let's see. How many of these did I do? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I would say at least two rows. Yes, Kathy. Thank you, Sophie. I like Queen Show No Violence just a little nonsense <laughs> right yeah I don't like any of those cops and rob robber shows either and this doesn't have to be perfect because what daffodil do you know that is perfect thanks Faye one two three four five six all right, Georgie. One, two, three. I didn't show how to cut it. I just explained. Good laughs and entertainment, right? Two, three, four. Ah, I forgot. 
forgot to cut that, didn't I? All right, where's the other end? When you tag Game of Night, does that mean it's he's your coach? Yes, Debbie. Yep, he's one of my coaches. Hashtag, but he's been a pretty busy guy lately. He doesn't normally come into my lives that often. It's a Unique in the Creek flower board, Valerie. Unique in the Creek. You get them at uniqueinthecreek.com. And you guys remember, if you... Go to Unique in the Creek, use Connie M and get 10% off. Connie M, all capital, all one word. All right. Awesome. Is it Esther, right? Esther. No problem. You're welcome, Valerie. I guess I have missed most of your demo. That's all right, Gwendolyn. The, the re it'll be on my page, the replay. One. Two. Oh, no. Did you forget about that code? I'm just doing these six times. Yes, thank you, Debbie. Five. Six. forget to cut that off. I did, so that's why it's goofing me up. Thank you. Thanks, Kay. Thanks, Esther. Thanks, Sarah. Try the small flower. I haven't, Gina, but my next order, I'm going to order some of those smaller boards. And I think, was it you, Barbara, that wanted me to try the horse boards um apparently the horse boards are still wooden they're the only ones that are still wood so i kind of want to wait until the plastic ones come out thanks dolores oh i hope you feel better girl you go lay down see you next time yeah i'm gonna order some of the small boards but like, uh, like I said, the, um, the horse board is not plastic yet, Barb. So I kind of would like to wait until the, the plastic ones come out before I purchase them. That's all right, Donna. How are you doing, girl? How much are the small ones? I'm not sure, Diane. I think there's seven, but don't quote me. Get the cross. I know the cross is next. Yeah, I don't know exactly how much the little boards are, the 12 inch, because I haven't bought any yet. Oh, are they 650, Susan? Thanks. I didn't know new page is on the small board. Is it, Peggy? Yeah. I didn't buy them, but I'm going to buy some on my next order. Alright, we have one more. Six fifty. Yeah, that's what everyone is saying. Just bought eight tonight. Did you, Susan? Did you use my code, girl? You would got 10% off.
that 10% adds up when you do 8 because that's $80. creek.com Thanks Diane We're not quite done We've got to do some fluffing we Need to fold the laundry to clear our bed <laughs> Right Kay Oh I hate that job I have three, three loads waiting for me Oh, that's right. There's a, there's a, it wouldn't take, oh, because you, well, you should have put in two separate orders, Susan. Um, yes, they're having a sale going. If you buy a character board, you get a free digital download. That is true. And it wouldn't take the code, probably not with the sale going. All right. So, so let's just do some fluffing and no I realized that no oh, I know Susan right yeah when you buy a lot of boards at a time that 10% really adds up so much trouble. Good night, girl. Have a great night. So what do y'all think of this daffodil? You think we need a butterfly on there? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking... Yeah, maybe if you send her... Thanks, Barbara. These the board you make. Yes, Patricia. I just use plain old yellow deco mesh, Gwendolyn. Thanks, Susan. Thanks, Faye. We need to set our timer for the giveaway. Set the timer and give it some fluff in. Thanks, Bertha. Thanks, Lucy. So you all know how how the... Um, thank you, Kay. Thanks, Suzanne. You know how the giveaway works. I set the timer. And when it goes off, it's the last comment I see. It's going to be different than what you see. Thanks, Jean. Um, thanks, Maggie. Thank you, Helen. So it will not be the same as what you see because of the delay. So when the timer goes off, it's the last comment I see wins. When ours blooms, it's too cold for butterflies. Right, Barbara? So good night, Darlene. When anger is not nice. Why angry face is not nice. I didn't even notice them. Sometimes people push them by mistake. The deco mesh is 10 inches, Nancy. 
Thanks, Gail. Cannot restart the video. No, you have to wait until it, the live is over. When the live is over, then go to my Reese by Connie M page and the replay will be there. You think of butterfly, Cecilia? They're saying, um, will I post the printout? What do you mean, Susan? Ready, set, go, Peggy. <laughs> Thank you. So I think this is kind of pretty. If anyone would like it, it's $45 um, plus shipping. Um, thanks, Darlene. And if you purchase off my live, you're entered into the Easy Bow Maker giveaway at the end of the month, which is coming up quickly. Or a B. <laughs> Are you able to separate the layers of yellow so they don't look like layers? Well, they're supposed to, they won't separate. See, they're supposed to just be standing up. Thanks, Kathy. You're welcome. Is it Euphem Euphemia? I'm sorry if I gr gr really blow it. Can you do a watermelon? I could try, Gail. They're done on the tree board. What are you using for the middle? This is uh, orange tubing, Maggie. It's orange tubing. Aw, thanks, San Nancy. Thanks, Faye. Where'd May go? I know, right, Linda? Where do all the months go? Make it look so easy. Thanks, Maggie. Yep, so if anyone would like it, it's 45 plus shipping. It's a reason with the wire frame, but can't wait to try the boards. I know, Jean, these boards are great. Thanks, Sharon. Try a butterfly. You think I should try a butterfly? Have a white finish edge. Yes, it does, <clears throat> Suzanne. It does have a white finished edge. I don't, Gail. I don't do them every night. I, I didn't do one the past two nights, but I missed you guys when I didn't. I missed my peeps. <laughs> That's what we should call our club, our group, Connie's Peeps. <laughs> I like seeing you. Aw, thank you, Esther. In your workshop. Right, Susan? Okay, the next project, um, I have to do a yellow and red rose. And thanks, Sophie. Thank you, Barb. Thank you, Candy. This is the large board, Maggie. It's a large board. Um, I have to do a yellow and red rose, and I have to do another sunflower by a request. Ah, Maggie, you are the winner, girl. Maggie, you won the giveaway. So I used two um, on cardboards. No, Gail, this is on the Unique in the Creek flower board. And I, I think it used two full rows of mesh, Sharon, at least two full rows. Thanks, Valerie. I know, Susan, this came from that place in Georgia that my girlfriend picked up for me. I'm trying to do a sunflower for a friend. Where can you order these boards at for that price? Patricia, uniqueinthecreek.com. And they're under frames. And make sure you use Connie M so you get 10% off. All capital, one word. I know, right, Jean? That's what I said. Love your life, Jean. Aw, thanks, Gail. I have pink colored mesh, Maggie. I do. But it's not fabric mesh. I have pink uh, regular mesh. I just got it in. Thanks, Barbara. It's not cardboard, Gail. They're made out of plastic. They're plastic boards. They're not really that 
that new, Nancy, but they are new, um, plastic now. Good night, Cecilia. Thanks, Peggy. Tina. Aw, thanks, Tina. Yes, it's unique in the creek board. Jean, I got this mesh, and um, my girlfriend picked it up in Georgia. I think it's at that wholesale place there. But you can get any yellow mesh from uh, any of the websites. I have affiliate links on my page um, for Waterman's Loft and Deco Exchange. You can check them. If you click on those links on my page. Thank you, Euphemia. Uh, Euphemia. <laughs> oh, thanks, Barbara. Shoot, I want it. I want it now. <laughs> I I don't know if you can order from them, and I'm trying to remember what the place is called. Um, good night, Barbara. Thanks, Nancy. You're from New Jersey, Jean? Yeah. Um, I think it's called... I'm not sure if it's... Sims Pottery, but you can order from them. Whatever that place in Georgia is, Adrian's not on here. She picked this up for me when she went up to a convention up there. So, I'm not sure of the name of the place. Ten inch wide. The first, Gina, the first row was uh, 18 inches. The second row was 36 inches. Hi, Tony from Australia. Welcome. And this this row of ruffles was 27 inches. Awesome, Suzanne. Thanks, Simba. Linda, Lynn, Simba. Thank you. You're from hot California, Diane? You need to come to Florida. It's just as hot, girl. <laughs> Good night, Suzanne. No, the rolls? Oh, 10-inch mesh, Gina. 10-inch. They're all cut in... Um, I, oh, I told you what they're cut. You sh oh, I don't, Tony. Well, I would ship to Australia, but the but the um, the shipping would be astronomical. Yes, yeah, Sims Pottery. That's it, Nancy. I think she said you don't. Oh, yeah, I guess you do. Thanks, Gloria. Tony, I'd be glad to ship to you, but you'd have to pay the shipping, and I don't know if you want to do that, hon. Very expensive. Looks like you doubled all the leaves. I did, Donna. You too, Nancy. Haven't made it to 70 degrees in Ontario yet. Really, Linda? Send some of that cool weather down here. It's hot down here. But, yep, this is 45 plus shipping if anyone would like it. Um, just let me know. And so tell me what you guys did over the weekend. Did you only use one roll? Oh no, Donna. This took at least two rolls. I had um, one that was open, and I used a whole roll of another, another roll. Good night, Tina. And then part of another roll. So it takes at least two full rolls, probably. Yeah. Good night, Jean. Yes. Good night, Luann. So don't forget to message me what you think our group's name should be. So we can pick one. You just early wake up tomorrow. You did a great job tonight. Love it. Thanks, Maggie. Take care, girl. Maggie, message me your your address. Um, I'm going to need it for your giveaway. Thanks, Donna. All right, so let's put the camera down. What part is the tube? The middle. This is just tubing, mesh tubing. 
Good night, Lynn. Donna, Connie's crew. I like that Connie's crew. That's really growing on me. I really like that Connie's crew. I do like that. I'll be safe if you get three rolls. Oh, is it on sale this week? Yes, Helen. I would get three rolls. Yep. I need to go to Hobby Lobby. My kids got me a $50 gift card for Mother's Day, and I didn't even use it yet. It's burning a hole in my wallet. <laughs> Definitely burning a hole in my wallet. All right, so this is it. This is the, I'll give you a close-up of the daffodil. And um, we have to make, like I said, a yellow and red rose. Connie's Peeps. Yeah, I like that, too. I'm always calling you guys my peeps. So, um, we're going to make a yellow and red rose. We're going to make a sunflower this week. And I don't remember what else we're going to make. I have to think on it. Poinsettia? You want a poinsettia already, Gina? I can do that. Oh, you know what I would like to make is a red carnation. What do you guys think of that? I'd really like to make a red carnation. Thanks, Pamela. Yeah, don't you think a red carnation would be pretty? I think it would be. Using the daffodil pattern. Using the daffodil pattern for the, um, for the poinsettia, Gina? talking about these petals yeah I would like to see the carnation again would you Linda yes Connie's creations <laughs> yeah I think a red carnation would be really pretty okay Jane so yeah those are my choices for this week I'll list them all but I really want to make a red carnation. I think that would be really pretty. And we could do a poinsettia. If you guys are ready for poinsettias, we can do that. Yeah, right, Gina? So, all right. I'm going to put the camera up so I can say goodnight to my peeps. I still think I should be. I think I should call them. The, my my group are Connie's peeps made and it was gorgeous what'd you see candy what'd you see made a red carnation yeah I really want to make a red carnation I think it would be pretty so all right guys I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night I missed you guys this weekend I've been, I haven't been here for two whole nights. That's a that is a, a record for me. <laughs> Good night, Donna. Um, 77 in New York. Oh, that's perfect weather, Rennell. Can you send some here? You want to see a poinsettia? We'll do a poinsettia. Yep, we will do one. I have to find my stuff that I used. I made one last year. Um, I'm trying to think. I used, when I made the sunflower, or I'm sorry, the poinsettia, I used a sunflower petal last year. Good night, Jane. Have a wonderful night. Yeah, I used the sunflower petal carnation. We're going to do that. How can I become your friend on Facebook? Diane, just, um, I have a group under Connie's reached by Connie M. Ask to join and I will definitely accept you, girl. Love to have you. Peeps, because you say it all the time. I know, right, Candy? I think I should say Connie's peeps. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to say Connie's peeps. Because I'm always calling you guys my peeps. <laughs> so, alright, guys. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you most likely tomorrow night, and um, God bless you all. Good night.